Alright, you guys have been waiting so patiently for this video, and I've been waiting really patiently and working very hard to bring you this video. But, the time has finally come. I have a functioning prototype animatronic Wheatley! I finished the electronics, the uh, the power system, and there, there's a lot of updates. Um, I, I'll have more details posted with this video, just to tell you like everything that's changed and updated, but the, the point is, it was a lot of work, it's been a long time since I've posted anything this cool, and I'm really excited to show you what he can do now. So, without further ado, I will go ahead and turn everything on. Now he goes into this neutral position because he's not getting any feedback from the controller. So it's just the servos in their neutral position. But as soon as it connects, it will go right back to where I've set everything. I've tweaked all of the code so that um, it works good with the controller and I can control things. And he doesn't try to rip his own head off and stays within the limits of his uh, movement, what he can do. I'm going to turn the sound system on, too. And we have Wheatley. All the way around in a circle, yeah, up, down, my left, his left, my right, his right, tilt to either side, the upper eyelid, the lower eyelid, combination of the both, and like I said in the previous update, each eyelid can be controlled separately. You put this all together. have somewhat of a character. Now, uh, another update, which is very happy that I'm pleased with, I discovered a way to get more sound files onto the soundboard. So Wheatley currently has 45 different voice lines that he can say, um, and I'll run through some of them here. You might be able to see the uh, flashing of the light behind there. It's on steady for his center eye, and when he talks it will flash. Um, but main focus today is just on the fact that we have an actual moving robot now. So yeah, here's here's some voice lines. So yeah, it, it's been at least three years since I've puppeteered anything like this, so I'm really rusty as far as like making him look like he's talking with the voice line, but it'll come back. It's like riding a bike down a hill, uh, jumping across a pool of sharks. I mean, you, you tend to get it the first time or you die. Something like that. Um, but yeah, so he's got a bunch of... got a bunch of different hellos in there. Um, I've got from the uh, Team Fortress 2 app Sap, which is a character that Stephen Merchant voiced that was pretty much just Wheatley ported into Team Fortress 2. I've got some of his hacking my monologue too, because we all know Wheatley's a master hacker, so um, we've got some monologuing here. So yeah, he, he just goes through and... Anyway, it, it gets a little overbearing because it, the, the keyboard typing sound is in there and so it flashes the light to it, but... Um, Anyway, and he's got a bunch of quotes and stories, too. Just random lines and stories and stuff like that. You'll recognize most of it from the Portal games, but uh, um, there are some other ones that I have found from the apps out. 
And I think there's even one in here that I managed to find from the Lego Dimensions video game, too. So lots of new Wheatley lines, lots of uh, character. So let's see here. What else can you say? So yeah, I've got lines to uh, encourage people to hold on to him very tightly. I've got some lines in here that um, I could set him down and walk away and control him at a distance and he can complain about being on the ground. But yeah, please. Um, got a lot of cool voice lines, and then of course I got some closers, some goodbyes. Lots of voice lines, lots of animation, lots of getting used to new controls and stuff like that. I did get everything running off of the PS3 controller, too. So, we got the motion that here. This is the tilt. Uh, voice lines is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These two are the eyelids. And these two up here are going to be for the handles as soon as I get them on. That's one thing I haven't finished yet. I don't have the sides or everything else put together and the electronics and whatnot. But yeah, so this is progress update on animatronic Wheatley version 2.0. Finally have an animatronic Wheatley. Um, he just needs a good paint job and a lot more wiring of work. So should have something here for you guys really shortly. Thanks for watching.